when is the best time to take your driving test? So, you get to the point where you're thinking about booking your driving test. You need to be thinking about a couple of things here. The time of the test and the time of the year combined together can, can be quite important. So let's talk about your um, times that you normally have it. If you have a, a driving lesson, say at um, 10 o'clock in the morning or 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock in the afternoon, then if you can get a driving test at the same time on the same day, then you cracked it. If you can get a driving test same time but a different day, then that's fine too because you're used to that volume of traffic. And that's what you've got to kind of remember. Um, try and pick one that's similar to what you've been driving in because it's not going to be much of a change because you're, you're going to have to deal with the nerves on the, on the test, which is a different kettle of fish also. But try and pick a, a driving test time that's similar to when you have your driving lessons because then it'll be a little bit easier for you to handle. And the time of the year is quite important. So we're in summer, so there's not going to get many cancellations for tests unless someone's on holiday or someone's sick. And that's, that's the examiners, by the way. If an examiner's sick or on holiday, then they might cancel your driving test. If they do, they'll rebook it for you. If it's in autumn and winter, then the first couple of tests in the morning is a risk of getting cancelled because it might be you get up that morning and it's foggy or it starts snowing in the, in the night and it's not, it's not completely clear. So at that point, you're in got a test centre. It's me test going ahead today. And they'll say, just turn up. We won't know until about 10 minutes before. And you turn up, it's cancelled. So the, the early morning test, maybe the 8 o'clock, if, if that's what time you have it in your area, that might get cancelled in the autumn. So bear that in mind also. So remember, when you're booking your driving test, bear these things in mind. And also, the early morning test could be rush hour. So are you used to driving in rush hour? If you are, then great. If you're not used to driving in rush hour and you book a rush hour test, and we're talking like, I mean, in Milton Keynes, rush hour starts about half seven, finishes about nine o'clock, quarter to nine-ish. So if, if you're booking a, a, a driving test in rush hour and you're not used to that, then I advise you to have a few lessons at that similar time as your test to get used to the volume of traffic, to get used to people um, rushing round so that it's not so much of a shock for you. Okay, so I'm hoping this helps you. It's just a quick, simple one. If it does, give it the thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, click on that subscribe. Click on that bell button and look out for my next video next week. Safe driving and if you have got your test and you're thinking about which one to book, I hope this helps you. Take care.